Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So we are doing our last holiday card tutorial in this four part series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you got some really great ideas that are fairly easy and fun. So let's jump right into this video and get started. Okay, so we are on our last two cards of this series and I think we are gonna do some more traditional looking florals because that's kind of what I do. So for today, I am using my B watercolor paper again. It's just what I have on hand and it's just the easiest size to cut for me. Use whatever watercolor paper you have. I have my Winsor Newton Professional watercolors in my palette, my Princeton snap brushes. I have like four here, but I'm probably gonna only use my size six round and my size two round, don't need those. Uh, water, paper, towel and I think we are ready to go. Okay, so let's do some just fun, loose florals, maybe going around, maybe we'll do one that's going around, like kind of like a wreath or a border, and then one that's like a little bouquet in the middle. I think that sounds good. Um, I will have a tutorial coming out um, a bit more in depth of winter florals, so stay tuned for that, but this we're just gonna kinda dabble a bit into that. All right. So when I think the holidays, I'm thinking red and whites and greens. Um, so let's just, let's do that. So I'm going to grab this dark red I have here, which I believe I mixed some cadmium red deep, or this one is Windsor red. Just making sure you're in frame. Yes, I am. Okay. And then a little bit of dioxazine purple just to darken it up but you can use whatever red you have. And I think I'm gonna start off with a flower over here. So I'm just gonna do like a curve shape. And this is gonna be like a, f a petal that's, you're only seeing a little bit of the view of. And then we're gonna have some longer petals over here. And I'm actually going in quite dark with this, but you can go in a little bit lighter. I'm gonna do another petal. I'm just gonna add some more water to my brush to lighten it up. Another petal over here. Just very loose, kind of fluffy petals like that. Okay, and then you can go back in and add a little bit more darkness around the center if you want, maybe around the tips like that. And then I am going to create some leaves coming around. So I just have some green in my palette already. Um, if you want to mix a nice dark green, you can get some Hooker's Green Dark and a little bit of Dioxazine Purple, and that makes a really nice dark green color. And I'm just going to do some leaves coming from there just by using a little bit of pressure. So light pressure to do the thin part, heavy pressure, pressing down like that. Just very loose. Okay, maybe a couple back here too. And I like when they touch a little bit of the flower so they have a bit of a color bleed going on. Okay, I got that one. And then we're gonna do some more coming around. Um, but I just wanted to get some of those color bleeds going. Now let's do maybe a lighter kind of rose. Let's do, okay, so I have this mix over here, which I believe was some red and maybe a bit of purple, and then maybe a little bit of green. And I'm just gonna take a really light wash of it. You can take a light wash of any color you want it to be. So it's gonna have the illusion that it's kind of like a white flower. So you could do a really light wash of a blue or a gray. I'm just taking this color. So I think it was red and a bit of purple, but really light wash. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna create kind of like a little rose. So just doing some really light, thin C strokes going around, leaving a little bit of white space in between. Okay. Like that, and as you get closer to the outer petals, you're making them thicker. So thinner inside, thicker outside. Okay, and then you can go back in with a little bit more color and just tap the center so it's a little bit darker. Like that. And then I'm gonna grab my green here and I'm gonna do some color bleeds so that green kind of bleeds into 
the flower bit and it just kind of frames it nicely so it doesn't look too light and white. Now just try and make sure you don't have too, too much green or water on your brush because then it will kind of take over that whole flower. It's going a bit more than I'd like right now. So I just washed off my brush, dried it, and I'm just gonna kind of push it away a bit. Dry it off, push it away. Okay. You do a couple more like that. That makes some of these leaves a little bit darker, closer to the base, like that. So we have this corner and this corner, and then we're just gonna, you know, go around with some greenery and maybe some berries just to tie it all in together. Okay, this one has a funky watermark, which happens. So I think if you don't like that, you can just go back over the whole flower with your color. And that happens when it dries unevenly. There was more water here than color, so it started to push, the water started to push the color away. So I'm just gonna go over the whole thing and just re-wet it so it's evenly wet and it dries evenly like that, okay? Easy peasy. Okay, so let's start creating more greens because we're gonna do some more greenery. So my hooker's green and my dioxazine purple. Okay, it creates a really nice, I'm just gonna actually tap a little bit into some of these just to make it a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna start creating some stems and then some leaves coming off of it. Just using the shape of my brush. Make sure I can make some of these darker too. Okay. Maybe do one here. Really simple, loose. Just use the shape of your brush and they don't have to be consistently shaped either. Just, they can be pointing different ways. Okay, and then we're gonna have some pine coming in between too. Gonna have some coming down here. We're just using the shape of our brush to create those leaves. One down here. Like that. Okay, and it just kind of frames it all nicely. Let's get some lighter green, maybe some pine. So I'm gonna grab some sap green here. Just mix it in like that. And then I think actually I'm gonna do some brown stems to start. So I'm gonna grab some burnt umber and I'm gonna do little stems where we're gonna have some like, like little pine or like evergreen needles so they can come kind of connected to these little bits there, other leaves. Actually, I can mix a little bit of that brown into the green too. Try not to have too much water and paint on your brush because you don't want it to overwhelm it, but you're just gonna do some really thin needles coming off of those stems. With the tip of your brush, I'm really, really light pressure. It's better to flick out I was flicking in and it looked a little weird. Just take your time. I like that little pop of brown. I think it looks really nice. Oops. Create some more brown. That's a big one there. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Grab your green. And you can always turn your card if that's the easiest for you to flick out your needles. Grab a little bit of brown for my green too. A 
like so. And then you can, oh, there's some more here. And then you can just continue to, you know, put more needles wherever you think maybe it looks a little, you know, too sparse. Use your own judgment. A little bit more brown for that center. Okay. I wonder if you can hear my husband and son. This house, so we're in our new house if you haven't been able to tell. Um, I thought I'd have a little bit more privacy and lack of sound from downstairs, but it echoes quite well, so <laughs> that's fun. And they know I'm filming too. Do you think they care? No, it's fine, it's fine. You guys, you'll just deal with it. Okay, so I'm gonna get more brown. We're gonna do some berries. So we're gonna have little sticks of berries and you can just have them coming from like behind the leaves. Okay, I'm just gonna create these little sticks wherever you think they'll look good. Totally up to you. Grab some of those little white areas. And if you wanted to do the berries, like a gold color, whatever you want. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab my Windsor Red or Cadmium Red Deep, which is the red I recommend. You're just gonna do some messy little red berries coming off of those. They don't have to be perfect circles. Just little dots coming off of them. I mean, I guess at least they're having fun downstairs. Curious to see after I finish this if you can actually hear them down there. Because they're pretty loud from where I'm sitting. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then for the center of this flower, I'm just going to grab some Payne's Gray to get a nice dark center. And it looks kind of like an anemone. Anemone. So like a dark center and then little, little tiny light or lights. Oh my God. Little tiny lines is what I was trying to say. And then little dots at the end like that. Okay. So there's that one. Um, cute, right? And now we're going to do more of a bouquet kind of thing right here. I think using the same kind of flowers. So. Let's start with our red kind of anemone looking one. So I'm gonna mix my, oopsie, it's too much. My red and purple together to get a nice dark red. And again, we're doing kind of like a different view. Um, and I think I'm gonna do a border around this one. So I'm gonna try and leave some white space. So let's do some petals like this. Do another petal here, kind of pointing in. And just make those ends uneven and then kind of like little lines coming towards the center. Do your little kind of like a U shape at the bottom here. Some more little petals like that. Now let's do our rose. So get your really light color. And I want it to bleed into this. Okay, so let's, we're gonna work quite fast so we can get a nice little color bleed. So little C strokes going around. Make them a bit bigger. And see, I touched that a little bit, so it's gonna bleed into this rose. Like that. Maybe I'll grab a bit more color towards the center like that. Okay, then I think I'm going to do more of a bright red one too. I'm just going to 
take some straight Windsor red, do the same kind of flower here, but upside down. So we're gonna do the shorter petal here, longer ones here. Okay, so it just changing the perspective of it just by changing where those long petals are. Like that, okay? So we have the red mixed with purple so they get that nice kind of like burgundy color and then a bright red one and then a really light one. Okay, so we're gonna build off these. We usually when I do like a little bouquet or something like that with florals, I use this kind of like rule of three. So I usually do three main flowers and then I go around with whatever greenery I need to. Okay, so let's make our dark green again. It's using the same things that we used for that first one. So I'm gonna start going in between the flowers, getting a little bit of color bleeds again, touching them. Like that, going in between here. Like that. Now this is getting a little bit closer to the edge, so I don't wanna to go too far out. Okay, and we're just gonna make it simple. Okay, let's get our sap green. Let's get a bit of brown and mix it in there too to make it a bit more earthy. Okay, I'm gonna grab my brown, do some little stems for those like pine needle type things. And they're gonna come out a little bit further like that. Okay, then grab our green, start doing your little needles. Like that. that and then I feel like we could do some more greenery too maybe some smaller ones let's see let's get our dark green again and we could just do some let's do a stem and then some smaller little leaves on there just by gently tapping down with the tip of our brush just kind of placing them wherever you think Okay, just some little fillers here. With the tip of your brush. Like that. Like that. Okay, and then let's finish off with some little berries. So again, grabbing our brown, wherever you think they'll look good, just kind of in between all of those little bits. I'm just gonna mix the two reds here.
that bled too much into the stem. It's all good. <laughs> You could always do some bigger berries too if you wanted. Anything goes with these. And then if you see any other little areas that need a little bit of filling, I'm just gonna do some more bigger leaves. Just to fill it up a bit. like that. Okay. And then make sure our centers are dry. Grab our paints gray, do our little circles. And then the little lines. like so. And then last but not least for this one, I'm going to take my gold palette. So I have my size two brush. You don't have to do this. You could always like, if you wanted to do a border, you could do a border with red or green. You don't need gold. I just like a little bit of shimmer on my cards. And if you've seen all my other ones, I usually do a border. And there you go. And if you really wanted to, you could always add a little bit of, you know, gold to this card too. You could do some like little gold berries. And there you go, there are your floral holiday cards. You can definitely write something in the middle of this one. It's totally up to you. Don't forget to glue it to an actual card. Again, I really like getting these sets from Michaels where you have the card stock and it comes with the envelope. Totally great option. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys, bye.